Hey guys, what's up? It's Oblivion. Uh, I'm here with a quick summoning session because my three-year-old daughter got a hold of my phone while I was farming today. And, uh, well, she used almost all of my crystals on Mystical Scrolls. So, um, uh, I guess I'm just going to do a quick summon. Uh, I don't really save, honestly. Uh, I'll, I'll save, like, LDs, but that's pretty much it. I don't really usually save anything because I have most of the things that I want. Um, out of all this, we're looking for a Perna. Uh, we're not really expecting a Nat 5 here, but if we get anything, preferably it'd be a Perna. Uh, so <clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and uh, jump in and get started. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was, I was farming uh, some fire today, and... I guess she decided that I didn't need to farm fire anymore. Alright. Uh, he's really good for TOA. He's also pretty decent for um, Siege 4-star towers. <clears throat> uh, I built mine on Despair. Gives him not only a chance to freeze on turn 3, but a chance to stun as well. Very useful. Another TOA mo uh, mon, again, you'll want to build him on Despair if you're going to use him for TOA. Um, he'll be your, like, if you're early on in the game, he could be one of your core stun monsters. So he's useful, but I wouldn't say extravagant or anything. Um, she's a fusion monster, so I guess that's kind of cool. Um... I guess <clears throat> but with this event I mean there's really no need to have her but she's also good for um, skill ups so if you have the fusions and you're just looking for skill ups you know that's kind of neat uh, I do actually think that we are well above where we should be for lightning as far as the average is concerned so uh, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing Considering we haven't got anything really awesome or a net five, I'm gonna say it's bad, but <clears throat> whatever. Um, and this is my personal account that I'm doing the summons on, obviously, since it's my kid that <laughs> decided to use my crystals that I'd been saving. Uh, I was in the attempt to try to get. Uh, 40,000 saved up for no specific reason other than I just I wanted to save up 40,000 uh, Galleon of course everybody knows what he's useful for but in case you don't uh, he's really good for your um, giants and dragons teams he can be really useful for that uh, for starting teams or really for end game te mid game teams as well um, he's pretty good in PvP, again, 4-star tower, siege, guild wars, etc, etc. Overall, a very good monster. Um, <clears throat> Nine-Tailed Fox is good for the new raid system. She, uh, has a, uh, fire attack lead, so she can be used to kind of buff up your lightning emperor and bring him to the next level of course um she's got a bun you know few other little purposes but nothing too crazy uh trevor is a pure pvp mon he's not used as often anymore um you want to build him on vampire preferably I should say, uh, if you're using him early game, there's a couple, you know, there's other builds you can go with. You want to make him kind of quick and high damage, so you want to go speed, crit damage, attack, um, and you can go fatal early on for him. <clears throat> so we are above the average um, for these. Of course, we haven't got anything useful, but still, we are above average, so that's cool. Um, I 
I mean, I do at least enjoy the fact that we are slightly above average. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest, I'm really worried about clicking a, a lightning um, and messing up, messing that up. Okay, so the fire vampire is used for fusion, but uh, just as important, or perhaps more importantly, he is one of the best free-to-play monsters in the game. So if you do get him um, and you don't need him, you should definitely go about, um, or you don't need him for fusion, sorry. You should definitely go about building him. Uh, you want him fast and tanky with a 100% crit rate. Uh, he, honestly, he can be a free-to-play hero. He can be used in dragons, necro. Um, he can be used in everywhere in PvP. <clears throat> he can be used in TOA if you need to uh, on certain floors. I wouldn't recommend him all over the place in TOA, but he can be used in uh, a lot of places in TOA. Um, he's just all around, he really is just a good monster. And he's got very few weak points, I guess. So definitely go... Um, I would definitely recommend going and building one if you get one. Um, I gotta do some feeding later. That of course will be on my time. Um, but yeah, so here we're hoping for a Perna. And that's, honestly, that's actually all we're really hoping for. Like, I really, I really want a Perna. <clears throat> Please be Perna. Um, okay, so not Perna, but a good monster to discuss while we wait for the next lightning. Um, that is currently used in a lot of cleave teams. He's really become, like, come into being a meta monster. So I would definitely recommend building one if you have him. Uh, his skill ups aren't super hard to get, but, you know, <clears throat> try, to, try to build one if you can. Don't force it if you can't. So here's what we're going to do now that we are on the final stretch for fire. And really, like I said, what we wanted was Perna. Uh, we're going to get to five. Ooh. <clears throat> Come on. All right. So. All right. Um, honestly, she's good for feeding her sister. I don't even want to sugarcoat it. That's... She, what she's used best for. She's used best for feeding her sister. Um, water and light are the two best. For sure. Um, we got nothing from that, but that's okay. Because we're going for that Perna. Everyone give me them luck. Give me that luck, guys. Give me that luck. <clears throat> okay. Okay. No. Um, so she was used uh, for a while, but she really hasn't been used at all recently. Uh, she got a slight buff in the last balance patch, but overall, I would say she's pretty weak. Um, and I would not recommend building. But, you know, if you're feeling like you want to build her, then you do what you got to do. <laughs> um... So obviously we didn't get a Perna. Uh, we were above average. And we don't need anything from here really. I mean, I could use a Poseidon, but I don't. I am going to wait for Perna to come back into rotation. So I don't need a whole lot coming up from the coming up weeks either. So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to save those up. Um, that's pretty much the extent of my random middle of the week oopsie summon uh, anyways hope you guys enjoyed <clears throat> watching my embarrassing summon that just made me even more sad that I lost all those crystals for no reason um, bunch of stuff for 
feeding and whatnot, so it'll be a good, uh, it'll be a good feed session. Um, please, if you enjoy the content on this, go like, subscribe. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more guides and a lot of other stuff coming up real soon. Um, anyways, that's it for me, guys. Make-A-Wish Foundation link in the description. Y'all have a good one. Bye.